So I just found this thing called Car Sync and just started using it with my Turo account. And there is another site called Street Smart that I think uh, I don't. I haven't used Street Smart, but I know Street Smart costs money. I think it might be ten dollars per car or a hundred dollars a month or something like that. Car Sync is free at least for now. It probably won't stay free. It's probably just free because it's new. But it's really amazing. I just first signed up for it because I was actually making a video on how I'd go through and manually charge for all my like bridge tolls. And I only have four cars, but I get a lot of bridge tolls every month. They're a real pain to go through all of them. Uh, I had over $200 in tolls last month. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm basically just surrounded by bridges. So this will automatically charge for all your uh, tolls. It'll also automatically send out a message with like an itemized uh, list of all the tolls to the renter when they do it. And it'll automatically upload pictures of the like toll invoices into the trip section photos. So if it gets escalated to support, uh, the pictures are automatically there. And you can set it so you can automatically escalate uh, escalate reimbursements to support and you can choose which reimbursements like I have it set so only my bridge tolls are set to automatically be escalated you can uh, send out automated messages which is really awesome I just started doing that I'll show you how to do that uh, you can link up if you have GPS trackers in your cars we definitely should you should not have a car on trail without GPS trackers I use the bouncy ones and you can link those up and bring up a map and it'll show you uh, all your cars right on this site you don't even and I'm just using it on my desktop. I don't know if they have an app, but you don't even need to download a program. It's literally just a website. And you just sign in to like your, uh, your Bridge Tolls account and it'll automatically bring all those in. And you can also go through and choose to like request the reimbursements manually. <clears throat> it'll bring up all your tolls from the last 90 days. It also has these amazing uh, analytics, which are really awesome. So, Turo demand index it'll show you like you can choose a different area and it'll show you like price per day distribution within different prices like what's been the most popular it'll show you uh, market by car makes top 20 so I assume those are like the ones that are getting rented out the most but I'm not sure it might just be the ones that hosts uh, own the most uh, market price production year <clears throat> oh and it has models top 20 models it's like Tesla model 3 is top 20 Toyota Yaris is like top 4 or no top 3 market price production year market by luxury class I haven't really looked into too much stuff uh, oh, and it has like a, oh, I guess it has a graph up here with like different dates. Oh, it even shows you future runnings too. So here's the demand. Asking booked price. Number of cars. And then you can go into your own metrics. So that, I think this stuff is really great. So it, it'll show you each one of your cars and it'll show you it'll show you for the lifetime of the car it looks like like how long you've had on the platform it goes month by month it'll have show you the number of rentals you got for each month uh, the time rented out in days the utilization percentage rate total revenue rental revenue I assume total revenue includes like reimbursements average net price per day miles driven for that month the revenue you're getting per mile, miles, uh, average miles driven like per rental day. And you can go down and look at that for each one of your cars and compare them. It'll give you like the overall utilization rate for I assume that's the lifetime amount that you've had the car. And then you can also go into, it looks like you can't look at that yet. And it, it'll, one thing I really like too is it'll show you your calendar. It'll list each car, but then it'll show the calendar in like a line like this, which is really nice. And like on Trio, you have to click on each calendar separately. And there's still a bunch, quite a bit of stuff on here I haven't used too much. Here's what all the tolls look like. These are the ones in the last 72 hours, but the ones within the last 90 days. 
And I haven't set these to automated yet because most of the tolls on here, I've actually already uh, re like sent reimbursements myself. So I don't know if I set it up automatic, if it'll do the ones from the past to and double charge the guests. So I'm just gonna wait. You do the messages here. It's really simple. They even have videos showing you how to do it. And so I have four different messages that I set to be automated. There's just a welcome message that just, you know, hey, thanks for renting from me. Let you know if you have any questions. And then you can choose to put in like the renter's first name, their last name, their full name, their driver ID. I guess that's the number that Turo uses. Um, you can add like uh, different locations, like the reservation pickup location. And you can also, you can link up your tracking devices I don't know if I mentioned that before. But you can actually use like the vehicle GPS location with a Google Maps link, a vehicle home or uh, vehicle GPS location with the address. And I assume it just uses that from your tracking device and it'll just automatically put that in for you. Um, you can like put in like the vehicle names, fuel type, all the license plate, all this different stuff. It'll automatically add in for you. So you don't have to type it in separately for each car if you want. Reservation start time, end time, dates, tons of different stuff. Um, excess distance traveled, I guess it can even do that if you're doing like a mile overage reimbursements. Owner, other relative time of day, morning, afternoon, midnight. So you could say like, you know, good morning or afternoon or midnight. It will do whatever you want for that. So that's my first automated message. The next one I have is for contactless pickup. It's just telling them um <clears throat> like how to upload the two pictures and i have that set you can set up that the time that it'll do it here i have it scheduled for 23 hours before the trip starts since that needs to be in less than 24 hours the welcome one i have for one minute after the reservation is booked and you can set this up to after before you can use minutes hours days or even seconds actually and then Oh, you can do do not um, and then you can choose so the after before you can choose the reservation is requested reservation is booked reservation starts halfway point three-fourths point reservation ends so as you can see everything is like really flexible and you can really personalize everything how you want it and then you can even add in certain conditions so you can choose different vehicles different accounts you can link up multiple accounts to this um, like only during certain deliveries or locations you can have certain messages that only get sent and then you can choose which cars you could have certain messages that say only get sent out for one of your cars or three out of four of your cars or just certain you can choose which cars the messages get sent out to so you can really automate a lot of different things so like if you had you know instructions on how to start a certain car or hook up your phone to the Bluetooth and you only wanted that message sent for like one car or, or maybe all of a certain make of cars like all your Mercedes you can choose which cars you want that sent out to it's really awesome and then the third message I have is one that just uh, tells them that they don't have to like stop and pay for the toll booth it tells them how the tolls work and I tell them uh, if you have any questions or nothing notice anything wrong with a car such as maintenance that may require attention please let me know and because you want your guests to tell you if there's any, if they notice anything wrong with the car, you don't want them to not tell you because you might not notice it for one thing. The next renter might get screwed over because, you know, as the host, you're not really driving the cars a lot. And then another thing is you don't want them to just give you a bad review and never mention it to you. I've had that happen once. That's why I added that into the message. And I have instructions on how to return it, return the key. And I let them know that if you, Want, if they want to extend the trip that they can and I let them know to park and everything and I let them know it's fine to return the car without the gas tank filled up but tell them that if they do that there'll be a $10 fee and I like to send this out 36 hours before the reservation ends just so you know if they want to extend the trip they know uh, the third message I sent out five minutes after the reserv the reservation starts which would be, yeah, reservation starts, not requested. Other things that are good is you can do uh, reimbursements, or you no, you can do uh, change requests. So when people request to have their trip changed, you can automatically accept, you can choose to accept all of them, or 
just all of the extensions or only ones with equal or greater earnings or accept all only with with greater earnings and then they have an unless thing so like I have it to accept all change request but not if the location changed or it's booked as a delivery I don't want that automatically if it's a delivery one I want to be able to see that first without automatically accepting it and I have it unless pickup is between certain hours if they're gonna change the pickup to be between 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. I might not want that so I need to see that beforehand before so like anything that you know is just a deal breaker for you you can add in anything you want another thing it can do is if you have your car on more than one platform which if you're using Turo you probably don't want to do that because uh, it's against Turo's policy so if Turo finds out you know they're gonna deny you like an insurance claim or they might kick you off the platform but if you have your car on multiple platforms it can link up your calendars and I think it'll automatically block off so like if you're on Turo and get around you one car is on both platforms it gets rented on get around for a certain date I'm assuming it'll block off your calendar on Turo for those dates so it doesn't get double booked and I think it can automatically do that too which is pretty cool and what else can it, there I'm sure there's more stuff that it can do I just got this a few days ago you know let me know if you use Street Smart, how that one is. Let me know if you use CarSync. And if you didn't know about this like I did, this is just a massive just time saver.